This is Father Robert from GadgetAtTheTechStop.net. You know, the place where it's always time to get your geek on. We're here at Interop New York 2010 at the Javits Center, and I'm here with Mr. Bill Wester. Good to see you. Good. Good to see now, you. Uh, you're here uh, at volunteering at the show yeah. as an ITM, but uh, you've brought a little something. What is this? <laughs> so this is a dumb disc, Mark I. Um, a little invention of mine. Uh, basically, it solves the kind of problem of how do we take enterprise class storage, but yet give it to the users at consumer grade pricing. Right. Yeah, I mean, because we've had a lot of NASs at Interop. Yeah. In fact, just last year in New York, we had a whole range of Netgear boxes from their NVX to their Pro to their 3200, and they worked really well, but you are taking a slightly different approach to massive amounts of storage. Just tell us a little bit about that. So it's got 15 two terabyte drives in uh, five uh, what we call canoes, and those canoes are on the lower level. And then we have a mezzanine layer above that where we've mounted a mini ITX motherboard um, with a quad core CPU. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and a one RU power supply. A lot of these uh, other NASs that we've, we've had at Interop and that I've reviewed on Gadget, they include a lot of you know, plugins, and you can do this and you can do that. And of course that raises the price, but uh, you've really designed the dumb disk to be sort of that, that piece of gear in your network that just does storage. It just yep. does storage fast, and it does it well, and it does it at high density, and that's it. Yeah, hey, and we want it to just run forever. So, I mean, the whole idea of dumb is to give you the basic protocols yeah. you need, and, right? You know, so, dumb disk. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, you know, iSCSI, SIFs or Windows file sharing, and uh, NFS, and that's it. Uh, you should be able to do everything you need with that. There's two things that always worry me. Reliability, because I mean, if I'm going to carry around that much data, I need to make sure that when I get to where I'm going, it's still going to work. Absolutely. And then, you know, the other thing is, who is this targeted at? I mean, who, who are you selling it for? So let's start with reliability. What have you done to make sure that the dumb disk is going to start up each and every time? Yep, absolutely. So we've used one of the best embedded OSs on the market. Um, we've based this system on BSD, right? So okay. it's going to run forever, right? Bulletproof. Basically bulletproof, right? right? right. Been around since day one. Yeah. A lot of uh, commercial products are actually based on mm -hmm. BSD. So underneath that OS, we've, uh, we've enabled a RAID 6 tier um, oh, with nice. software RAID layer. So it's dual parity RAID. So we are actually only using 10 disks as data disks, uh, two disks are parity disks. So that gives you 12 drives. And then the three extra drives are oh. used for hot spares. Hot spares. So yeah. Even if you did lose a drive or two in transit, you it, it would just keep going. Yeah, not only in transit or if, if one were to have a failure or something, that hot spare would kick in, all the data would be moved over to that drive and uh, the system would continue uh, without any issues. So, Now, I know we've been subjecting the dumb disk to sort of the worst case scenario here yeah, at the Interop yeah. Net because yeah. you know, we've got a couple of dozen guys who are hitting it at the same time. At one point, we had, uh, we had a, a service that was copying millions of tiny files at the same time, but yep. what kind of throughput could you expect to see from a system like this? So the system comes with one gigabit interface, um, and we have seen, depending upon um, the hardware that's connected to it, because of course the server um, makes a big difference. So right. if your client machine isn't very fast, it won't go very fast, but if you have a strong client, I've seen upwards of 800 megabits per second on nice. iSCSI, and uh, you know, if you go to our website, you'll see that some of the performance results that we were able to get. But really good performance for what the hardware we have. So we're pretty pleased with what we've been able to achieve. It's hard hitting that balance. Uh, you know, yeah. of course, you, you want to always give it more performance, but then you start growing beyond what you're trying to do, which is make it dumb simple. Yeah, dumb simple and yeah. low cost. And, and low so cost. a lot of these, cost, 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 these boxes out on the market today, they cost a lot of money. And this box is meant to be something that um, changes that whole model of pricing for disks because we believe long term that just like uh, data has become uh, very low cost over time uh, and everybody today has a 10 megabit or higher cable modem at their home that they can get um, for very little money, we believe that disk storage eventually will become uh, a commodity as well and you won't need to spend so much for that. Even enterprises today are changing the model that they pay for, for storage. Okay. Now, you brought up pricing, which means I got to bring up the question. Sure. I have seen solutions that have half as much storage that can cost upwards of six, seven, eight thousand. Yep. I've seen systems with twenty terabytes of storage without the hot spares that can run you up in twelve and thirteen thousand. What am I going to pay for a dumb disk? 
So list price of the dumb disc is ten thousand ah, dollars. Nice. Uh, but as you know, there's a lot of discounting that goes of course, on. Of so course. We're okay. willing to talk. Fantastic. And if they want to find out more about the dumb disc, where should they go? Dumbdisc.com. It's pretty simple. All right. Well, Bill, thank you very much. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to keep playing with this throughout the show. We'll see exactly how much torture it can endure. Yep. And you come back because we've got more gadget goodness for you. I'm Father Robert. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you. Incredibly well. They've offered a lot of features. And you walk right in front of the camera, man. <laughs> We're here at the Javits Center, interrupt Las Vegas, because it's not Las Vegas, it's New York, and that's, that's uh, <laughs>